What's up YouTube? My name is Jay and welcome to part 2 of the mixing and mastering in Cubase 10.5 Pro. If you haven't watched part, part 1, make sure you go there and watch part 1 and then come to this video. So in part 2 of our mixing and mastering in Cubase 10.5 Pro, we're going to be looking at how to set up your Cubase. The most important thing before you start mixing is you need to identify your vocals. What are they? Are they backing vocals? Are they lead vocals? So you need to separate your lead vocals and your backing vocals, your instrumental. You need to know all those things. So if you look at my my setup here, I've got vocals here. I know it is a lead vocal, this one here. So I just need to rename it to lead vocals 1. Lead vocals 1. You can rename it to whatever you want. So my second one is a lead vocal also, so I'll just rename it to lead vox too. And then the third one is also a lead vocal in this case. So lead vox 3. And then this one could be anything, but for me it's just a... Uh, a vocal that I want to put in some some kind of reverb so in some kind of telephone if telephonic effect so I'll just telephone telephone vox just for me to remember and then I've got these these two layers here uh, these are actually the same vocals but they were taken uh, at separate times but the same the same thing so these are my backing vocals but I'm, I'm going to pan them left and right because I like I like that effect so I'll say backing left then this one will be my backing right That will be my backing vocal right so if i want a backing vocal that will be centered i can also rename something to vox so i'll know that it's centered then this is where i just oh sorry this will just go back to sorry about that and then this one this is where i center it from so i'll just put a zero centered if you look at my backing vocals the one that goes to the left you need to take it all the way to your left the one that goes to your right you take it all the way to your right and then the rest of the vocals are centered all right another thing that we need to do after identifying our vocals is and then what is on top here is our instrumental so i just rename it to instrument we need to add two group channel tracks so I'll say add group group channel um, uh, these are supposed to be in stereo so I want two for my backing and for my lead vocals so I'll do this I'm going to rename this one to lead vocals then this one too, backing vocals. After doing that, I'm now going to send my vocals to to my group channel tracks. So if you look at this for my lead vocal, if I click on it here, then I come here. I'll select lead vocals. So I've sent my lead vocal channel here to this lead vocal here so i'll give you an example when i play this save here you see that it's now picking so i'll do everything for my the same thing for my lead vocals for all my lead vocals send them to lead vocals then my, my for my telephone effect 
I think I can just send it to my backing vocal and then I'll just put the effect right on the channel. So I'll send this to my backing vocals because I want it to have some, some more reverb. So for my backing vocals, I also send them to my backing vocal channel. I'll do the same for the next one. Send it to my backing vocal channel. And then they are panned. So if I play this now. Yeah, so this is pretty much it. I've sent them to my backing vocals. If you look at the effects on this one, this one, it has nothing here. So the only thing that I'm going to do is I'll go to my lead, lead Vox group channel, then go to effects. I just want to boost the volume of this. So I'll just go to stereo and set it to and just switch it on like that. And then I'll put another, another one, do that and then just switch it on. At least I'll have some boost. So that's that's good. I'll do the same for my backing vocals. Group channel. So I'll add this stereo out. Also add another stereo out here. Okay. And this is it. So if I play with the instrumental, this is it. Alright, make sure you have it you have your headphones on. Yeah, you have your speakers so that you'll be able to follow me. If you are if you're following this, then that's good. So you can go back and try to follow the steps as they are so that we follow each other. Thanks very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to click that post notification button so that you know whenever I upload a new video. See you in part three of this mastering where we're going to be doing uh, vocal configurations and our the uh, we're going to be adding some effects and mastering and also don't forget to follow me on instagram at share the mg where i share some amazing content you'll be able to know where to download plugins cubase um terax and so on and where you can get your free drum kits and so on and so forth. So go to my Instagram, follow me, send me a message, and I'll be able to respond to you, and let's get interacting. Thank you for watching. Peace.